mercy. What is going on, Mattis? Lord have mercy. Oh, please help me. What is going on, Mattis? Doctor! Nurse! Mattis! Doctor! Doctor, please Calm doctor. down, madam. Your husband will be fine. Doctor, did you say I should calm down? This was exactly the same thing that happened to him yesterday morning before we rushed him to the hospital. Doctor, what exactly is wrong with my husband? Mattis, okay, you're not saying anything. What is wrong with my husband? Oh my God. Mattis, please stay with me. Calm down. Like I said, your oh husband will be fine. Oh my God. Nurse, come with me. Oh my God, Mattis, so good. What is going on? What happened? Why is he still struggling to breathe? We need to discuss in my office. Doctor, please tell us what happened. Please. Madam, we need to have a detailed discussion and I would prefer it to be in my office. Whatever you have to say, you can say it in front of both of us. We are a couple. He's my husband. And he deserves to know what is wrong with him as well. Yes, Doctor. You can go ahead and see it. She's my wife. Okay. We need to run some tests to ascertain what is wrong with him. His condition is critical. Critical? Oh my god. Any moment from now, we'll be expecting the doctor to give us a report on what is going on. I can't even wait to leave here. You leave here, definitely. Oh, doctor, who is here? The test results and the scan are out. Okay. Like I told you yesterday, we needed it to know the root cause of your husband's problem. Okay, but well, doctor, what's causing all this? Madam, like I said earlier, your husband will be fine. I respect your patience. We understand, but doctor, tell us what is going on. After thorough evaluation, okay. we have discovered that your husband has a hole in his heart. What? It can be managed, but he has only two months to live. No, doctor. God forbid. My husband can never die in Jesus' name. I totally reject it. In fact, I reject that report from you, sir. I understand what? your concern and I am here to walk you through these difficult times. Please feel free to ask me any question you have. A hole in my heart? <sighs> yes, Mr. Martins. Well, doctor, is there anything we can do? Anything at all? Any treatment? I'm afraid the damage is extensive. There is no cure for it. But how? What could be the cause of this? I understand that this is very difficult to accept. But I am here to walk with you through this difficult time. Oh, don't please do anything we can do. Anything, anything at all. What should we do? I would suggest that you make the best of this two months that it has. Make sweet memories and make sure you pray to God. It is natural to be scared, but lean on each other, if you will excuse me. My dear, we'll face this together. We'll make every moment count, Martins. We'll try and make every memory possible. Yes, we will. Yes. Martins, I, I cannot 
live without you. I can't imagine this life without you, mother. Are you both? We have gone through so many challenges before. We can go through this together here. <laughs> I know that it's not going to be easy, but I want us to make so many memories. Our last date night, our last dance, I want us to make so many memories, many memories as possible, Martin. <laughs> Those were beautiful moments. Mm. My dear, stop talking about that. I'm not going anywhere. I just <laughs> wish you. <laughs> I just wish you had more time. I'm going to be here with you. I just wish you had more time. <laughs> <laughs> I can I have it for only two months? I'm looking at you now. <laughs> I can still remember the day I first set my eyes on It was as if a star had fallen from heaven. I remember. You were so beautiful that day. I remember. <laughs> I can still remember the girl you were. You were on a red girl. I couldn't just set my eyes off you. I could hear God telling me you were the right woman for me. I remember all that. And I've never regretted any single moment with you. I have no single regrets with you, Martin. Chris. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Even on this my sick bed, I cast this in my eyes off you. For the past three days, without letting your head to relax, I can't leave you here alone. I can't. I understand. But it is written all over you that you need to rest. Please go home. How can I leave you here alone in this condition? How will I be able to have peace at home? I will not even be able to eat knowing that you are here all alone in this condition. Please, my mind is not settled. Honestly, my spirit is disturbed. I understand. But just for a day, I will be fine. I need to go back home. Refresh. Your eyes are dim already. You are looking tired. You are looking weary and frustrated. Please, go home and relax. Okay. If that's what you want, I'll go. But we have to wait a little for Aunt Lucy to get here before I leave, okay?
chapter 11 verse 28 he said we should come unto you with our labor and our heavy landing that you will give us rest father Philippians you were said also in the book of Philippians oh God you said that we should be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and thanksgiving, we should make our supplications known unto you. Dear Lord Jesus, please, I am making my request known unto you. In the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29, verse 11, Lord, you say that you know the thoughts you think towards us. The Lord of peace, not of evil to give us an expected end. Oh God, it's not you have for us. It's not you have for me and my family. It's not of good. It's not of good and not of evil. That you will give us a hope and a future. But I don't care about the doctor's report. I don't care about these interpretations of God. All I care about is all I want is my husband of God. All I want is the husband of my youth. All I want is the husband of my youth. And please give my husband and restore him back of oh God. That together we'll be climbing this ladder of life in love, in peace, and in harmony, oh God. Oh God, how do I even become a widow? At my young age, at this my young age, Lord, oh God, oh God, oh God. How do I give birth to a child without a father? How can I give birth to a child who will not know the father? Oh God, please have mercy upon my own. Lord, have mercy upon my own. Oh God, please have mercy upon my own. Oh, what would people even say? Oh, if people will see that she got married and then just barely three years into her marriage, her husband died. God forbid, oh God, please come to my rescue. Oh God, oh God come to my rescue. Oh God, please have mercy upon my home. Have mercy upon my home, oh God. Matthias is your son, oh God. Father, please heal him. Heal him and restore him, oh God. Father, please heal Matthias, oh God. I have no other person to run to both you, Lord. Please come and carry this body, oh God. Come and carry this body, oh God. I am weak. I am tired. I am hungry. 
Let's go, my hope is in you. <laughs> Roger, please speak to me. Please speak to me. I'm tired. I'm tired. Please, Mama, carry this body. Mama, carry this body. No, please, carry this body. No, God, please speak to me. I have no other person but No, please speak to me. Please, oh God, help me. Have mercy on my home, oh God. Heal my husband, oh God. Speak to me, Lord, no, please speak to me. You are my father, please speak to me. Please speak to me. Oh God. Had a restful night. Yes, my darling. We slept well. All through the night, it was peaceful. God was really, really faithful. How about you? I did too. And I am stronger now than I was yesterday. Mm. All glory to God. <laughs> I see that. All glory be to God forever. Mm. I am happy to hear that from you. Now, I feel really relieved. Thank God. Hmm. My Lord, you know, yesterday, the Spirit of God expressly spoke to me. I prayed and prayed until my strength could no longer carry me. And in a trance, God spoke to me and assured me that we are not in this alone and that He is with us. You know, my love, now I believe what you've been telling me, that God is with us indeed. Honestly, I just feel relieved. I just feel strengthened again. And I'm so happy. My love, I've always believed in the strength of your faith. Looking at you yesterday, I thought you'd come back here with the same countenance you left here with yesterday. But this morning, you brought a beautiful hour away. I love you, my love. You know, I really believe in miracle. We'll get through this. And that is an assurance from God. Yes, we will. Hmm. I can't stop thanking God for His mercy. God has indeed been merciful. And, you know, this situation has really 
taught us to, you know, have more faith in God. I really give all glory to God. I give all glory to God. Thank you so much for coming. Honestly, your presence means the entire world to us. Thank you so much. Oh, come on, Sister Grace. We are family. The pastor sent us. Please, just be encouraged. Brother Martins, we've been praying for you. Every day we keep on praying for you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I promise you that. Brother Martins, the Lord be take two. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we come to you with a heart full of worship. We come to you with a heart full of faith. Lord, I lift up your son before you, Martins, seeking for your healing power. Lord, I ask that you extend your hand of healing upon him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Daddy, I pray, don't allow us to be put to shame. Please, let your hand of healing rest upon your son in the name of Jesus. Amen. That I pray for the wife, that he please encourage her. Please encourage her in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for answers to prayers. Amen. Lord, we see the surrender with the blood of Jesus. I commit the doctors and the nurses before you, daddy, I pray. All the injections that we to inject on our brother, that let the injection work perfectly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for answers to prayers. Amen. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. We sincerely appreciate you all. Thank you. We appreciate the church as well. Because we know the church has been praying to you. God bless you. You're welcome, my sister. Please just be encouraged. The Lord will take you through. Amen. And I promise you, you're going to the church to testify. Amen. Going on. Why is my husband not in for me? This is not what you promised me. You promised that when I call him, you will answer. For the past few weeks, my husband has remained the same. There have been no improvements. Oh, please. Oh, please be my husband. Please restore his health, oh God. Restore his health. Lord, you promised that you answer us when we call you. Martins. Martins. Martins, what is going on? Martins. Martins, please don't do this to me. Martins, please don't do this to me. Martins, I'm pregnant! <laughs> Madam, I need to be sincere with you. Okay. Martin's condition is worsening. He has only one week left to live. No! Doctor, what are you saying? That can't happen. He can't leave me now. No, please, doctor, please do something. Madam, please. I know it's oh hard. God. We will do all our best to provide and take care of him. But I need you to be prepared for what might come. Oh my God. Where do I go from here? Doctor, did you say what's name? Ah, come on, doctor, please do something. Something can be done. No, 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 no worry. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Martins. We can't give up. I have taken my time to create a to-do list of things you are going to be doing when you fully recover. So we have to keep trusting God and believing in His words. I know I'll be better. Yes. You know, God can never punish us like this. 
God cannot choose to punish us like this. I mean, how can I be a widow at this age? I also think we should begin to pray more together these days. In Jesus' name. We still need to run his scan to ascertain if he's fully fit to be discharged. No problem, doctor. That's not a problem at all. Mr. and Mrs. Martins, your faith and resilience has amazed us all. Your improvement is remarkable. Your story is indeed a testimony. According to our recent scan, we couldn't find a hole in his heart. Mr. Martins, this is beyond medical comprehension. Oh, sir, please, when will he be discharged? He'll be discharged in a few days. Take my leave now. Alright, sir. My love. <laughs> my African queen. I'm grateful for the memories we created these past few weeks. It strengthened our bond and made us more closer to God. Sure, it did. You know, when you were in the hospital, mm. I don't know if you noticed because you know you were weak at the time. I was able to create a bucket list of the things I want us to do when you come out of the hospital. And indeed, God never disappointed. You know. This whole situation really taught me what it means to trust God and built this strong faith mentally in me. You know, I came to really understand what it means to really rely on the word of God. It taught me a whole lot of things, this journey alone. And honestly, I'm so happy. I'm so sorry for the stress I made you go through these past few weeks. It's okay. Seeing that you are some weeks pregnant, it's not nice to make a pregnant woman go through this stress, the beginning stage of her pregnancy. But you know what? Tell me. I'm going to make it up for you. See no other words. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to feed you too. <laughs> no, no, you know my favorite fruits. <laughs> okay. Well, how could I forget? <laughs> mm. It's as sweet as the person who gave me these fruits. <laughs> we are not serious. Anyway, Martins, you're having a baby boy. Mm -hmm. It's 
a lie. Of course, it's true. You're going to be a father <sighs> to a baby boy soon. Yes. A baby boy. Yeah. really glad in my heart today. I know, right? You know what? Tell me. I already have a name for the baby boy. Wow, really? Okay, let's hear it. His name is going to be Alex. Hmm, Alex. Wow, yeah, of course. Alexander. That's a very beautiful name. Of course, God has been our defender. And he has fought and defended us victoriously. That's a wonderful name, Alexander. You can't wait to have him here. Well, before then, let me give you some more photos again. <laughs> Martins, you can never change. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, for you. You're going to be a father too. I can't. And I know you'll be the best father. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> 